What's cracking, guys? Bruce Madsen here, your host show of Metro Scout Fantasy Football, and I have a cheap option for you guys to explore in rookie drafts right now. You can get this player in the late part of the second rounds in no man's land, and we might get a good return on our investment. There's a good chance for it. This player is kind of safe, looks kind of good on the horizon, on the outside looking in. Good situation here. He's going into a depth chart where there's some ambiguity there, where the quarterback likes to spread around the targets a little bit. We've seen that recently. I've mentioned him in a few other videos, especially in the mock drafts, that I kind of like him, especially at value. It's a good deal, and he's a wide receiver. One of the last of the Mohicans of good wide receivers to go after until we're just casting shots into the wind here, but I'm talking about Jalen Tolbert from the Dallas Cowboys. They drafted him in the third round. He has solid production, broke out at age 20, and then the last two seasons of his career posted a market share of 40% more in each of his last two seasons at South Alabama at 21 years old and 22. Last season, I had a 33% target share at 51.2% dominator rating at the Combine. He ran a 4.49, 40-yard dash, 6 foot 1, so he has some size to him. This depth chart has C.D. Lamb, Michael Gallup, who's coming back from a knee injury, then James Washington, and then it's him. Jalen Tolbert's expected to see snaps this season. He's expected to be running a good amount of routes this year. There's a chance this could meticulate into some production. I'm not talking top-tier fantasy production. I'm talking about enough to give us a return on the investment. Think about Cedric Wilson last year, how he had some decent games some games where he was over targeted seeing some double digit targets he saw 61 targets last year those targets are gone that's got to go to somebody it could either go to tolbert james washington spread around a little bit usually it's not a one for one thing usually it's spread around to somebody but we're also losing 103 from amari cooper that's got to go somewhere sure there could be more targets less targets but the chunk of the pie's got to go somewhere we have James Washington, we have Jalen Tolbert, the team spent that third round pick on Jalen Tolbert. He should be getting an opportunity to prove himself in camp this year, an opportunity to prove himself early in the season or sometime down the line. He could be like the third option in the passing game. And with him being like the third option in the passing game behind Gallup, behind Lamb, that doesn't mean he's dead, especially when we've seen Dak Prescott target Cedric Wilson in the passing game, just over-targeting him with Lamb on the field out there running routes. This is a good opportunity for Tolbert to succeed. I love the draft capital here in rookie drafts. ADP of 20, 20 overall, back in, second round pick, basically free at that point. Not much left for him to compete with. You're talking about like Wandell, Robinson, and a bunch of mid to late round running backs. So, Take your pick there when you're looking at all these players who are left on the board in that range. He's like the safest option. You have some running backs there you can shoot your shot on. Some of them are in good situations, but Jalen Tolbert's also got a good situation where he can prove himself and really give us some production, give us something especially in the short term, maybe a little bit more in the long term. I'm not expecting him to be gangbusters, but I'm expecting him to have a role have a chance have a chance to do something he's got athleticism he's more than fast enough to get the job done he's been productive small school guy of course he's a little bit older but that's baked into his draft capital late second round pick third round pick in the nfl draft depth chart is open for the taking especially for the third spot in the passing offense michael gallup's coming back from an injury cd lamb should be the alpha but what if Dak Prescott just wants to spread the ball around? Dalton Schultz gets a fair amount of targets. But this is a good chance for Jalen Tolbert to exceed expectations, to get some opportunity in the passing game. If he plays well, he's going to get targets. And that's all we can ask for. He's going to be on the field running routes. And there's not going to be many wide receivers in the late second round, early third round, mid-third round that you can say that about. Jalen Tolbert's in a good opportunity. He's in a good opportunity to produce for Dynasty Fantasy football teams. And if anything, he would give us a good return on our investment. Let me know what you think about Jalen Tolbert in the comments. 
drop it in there, smash that like button, help out the video and the algorithm. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. All kinds of rookie draft content at your disposal on this channel, helping you guys out with your dynasty teams and everything else. But again, I want to thank you, and I'll catch you next time.